Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, this video is an hour long. We have a whole lot packed into the next hour of this video. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys clicking on this video and hopefully you clicked on this video because you are looking for some cleaning motivation. Maybe you're gonna put this up on your TV while you clean right along with me, but either way, We've got a lot going on. So this video was filmed over the span of four days. Originally it was gonna be three days, but then I added a little bit more of a project to the end of this video. So we're doing some basic day-to-day -day tasks like laundry and bed making, pick up and tidy. And then we're also doing some major deep cleaning. I'm gonna deep clean the oven. We are gonna be doing some rearranging, some carpet cleaning, some couch cleaning, and more. So if you are looking for some cleaning motivation, then buckle up, grab a snack, or like I said, put me on your TV or your phone, and let's get to work cleaning up my house and getting a whole bunch done. So on the first day that I started filming this video, it was Wednesday, and I came home and Donnie had the whole oven taken apart because we had been trying to figure out how to get in between the glass on the door to be able to clean it because there was a lot of stuff on there. So he took it apart and I was like, well, if it's gonna be taken apart, then I might as well clean it. So I put all of the grates and then the racks in the sink and I put some dishwasher pods in there to dissolve and get that all clean. Um, so that's what you saw just a second ago. And now I'm using this heavy duty easy off inside the oven. So I'm starting out with just vacuuming out all of the loose pieces, all of the burnt up stuff on the bottom and getting out everything I can with the vacuum before I spray that easy off on there. So while that easy off sits inside the oven, I am taking apart the glass. So this is, our oven is very, very tricky to get apart, but it has been needing to be done because one time I cleaned it and a bunch of stuff got in between the glass. And so it's just been super cloudy. So we figured out how to take it all apart. Um, and then I took the, the whole glass piece out of the door and um, figured out how to take that apart. So there's actually three pieces of glass. Um, and I'm starting off with my Dawn Power Wash and I'm just gonna let that soak on the glass. Um, one of the glass pieces, which I was obviously like the part that was inside the oven, was very, very dirty and um, was not coming off with just the Dawn Power Wash. I guess that did, you know, kind of help a little bit take off like the grease and stuff. Um, but I do have to end up going in with some easy off afterwards and let that sit on there because the soap just wasn't powerful enough to get all the burnt like grease off of that one piece of glass. So I wiped all the glass down and then I'm going to spray some easy off on there and let that sit and then I'm going to go in to the oven and start working on wiping that down. So definitely be sure to wear gloves when you do this and put something down to protect your floor because you don't want that oven cleaner getting on your floor or your skin or anything like that. So I'm just taking a sponge with hot water and I'm wiping all of that easy off down. It is super, super powerful and it's a super strong chemical. I don't really like using it, but I tried other things on my oven and it just wasn't doing the trick. So we had to bring out the big guns and <laughs> use some easy off, but just hot water and a sponge to kind of wipe all that down. And then I will go in with a rag and finish that up.
I picked up these oven liners from Amazon. I will link them for you guys. But it's a three pack and they're washable and reusable. So I think this is gonna definitely help out a lot. But I'm just giving you an overview of the clean inside of the oven. So much better. So now I am gonna go and work on those glass doors again or the, the glass from the door. Um, and that easy off definitely did the trick. As you can see, the burnt on um, grease, the yellow on that one piece of glass came right off with the easy off. So I'm just using hot water again to scrub this down and then I'm gonna flip it over spray some easy off on the other side and let that soak and while that's soaking I am going to my stovetop and I had sprayed some easy off on the burners because there's these spots on there that I have been trying to get off with all sorts of different things and finally the easy off did the trick Now going back to the glass door, there was a little bit of stuff that wouldn't come off. So Donnie brought me a razor and I just was able to scrape it all off and it worked really well. So I'm glad I finally got this glass sparkling clean. I'm just taking some glass cleaner to finish off cleaning these glass pieces and I'm using the Spray Away glass cleaner. It's my favorite brand glass cleaner and just a um, glass rag. It came with a cleaning set of like microfiber rags that I got, but it's not microfiber. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a glass cleaner rag. Okay, now for the actual oven door. That glass that I've been working on cleaning all goes together and then it goes inside that oven door. So I sprayed some easy off on the glass part of the oven door because there was some baked on stuff in there. And then I'm taking my CLR stainless steel cleaner and wiping down the stove top. And now I'm gonna take down my wreath and my let's eat sign and we are going to fill up my bucket with a gallon of hot water and I've been watching Go Clean Co on Instagram and this is their concoction that they use for all sorts of stuff, but a gallon of hot water, a third cup of bleach and a teaspoon of powdered Tide and it makes an amazing smelling cleaner and a great degreaser and you can use this for so many different things, but definitely check out their Instagram account. So many cleaning hacks on there, super helpful and super motivating. So I am using that concoction to wipe down the backsplash here on the oven. We did the shiplap backsplash over a year ago and I used an enamel paint on it. So um, it, you know, it won't get ruined by food or heat or anything like that. And it's held up really well, but like with any kitchen, when you cook, things get greasy. So wiping this all down and it was definitely dirty. I'm also wiping down the sides of the cabinets here, but I really like this cleaner. So if you've never tried it, definitely check out Go Clean Co on Instagram. I will link them down below. Never could. 
All right, now I'm gonna go in and wipe off that easy off that was on the oven door, get the glass put back in there, and then we're gonna get this door put back together. So there's just a few screws, and Donnie actually had to watch a couple of YouTube videos to figure out how to take this thing apart because that's how um, intricate it is. It was pretty confusing, but now we know how to do it. We'll be able to do this again when it needs to be done, but this is going back on. And then I attempted to put the screws back in, but they're kind of tricky. So then Donnie came in and he finished putting this door back together. Now I'm just gonna use some glass cleaner on the front of the oven door and some stainless steel cleaner to polish up all the stainless steel on the front. Now moving on to everything I had soaking in the sink. Like I said before, I just had some dishwasher pods in there with super hot water and those were soaking for a few hours. Um, I'm draining the water and then I'm just putting some Dawn power wash on there and scrubbing down these grates. If I really wanted to get these um, grates that go in the inside of the oven absolutely sparkling clean, I'd probably have to soak some like easy off on there. Um, and I just, I honestly, to be, on <laughs> to be honest, I don't care what the grates on the inside of my oven look like. Um, but you know, maybe one day <laughs> I will uh, want those to look brand new again. But I'm just using that Dawn Power Wash and a scrub brush that I picked up at Target that's made for pots and pans is what it says, but it's a really stiff brush so it scrubs really well. Um, and these did come really clean so I'm super happy about that without having to use any like easy off or anything like that. But I'm just gonna scrub all this down and I didn't realize it but my battery actually died when I was filming this clip so I didn't get uh, footage of me scrubbing like the knobs on the front or the burner covers so we don't get to see that but here you can see everything is washed and clean and out to dry. So now I'm taking some Barkeeper's Friend and I'm gonna put that all in the bottom of the sink, add some water, and then that just turns into a paste and it works really well for scrubbing. So I'm gonna scrub out the sink, rinse it out, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil after I dry the sink completely bone dry. I'm gonna add olive oil and shine up the sink. Look how shiny the sink is. It looks amazing. There was a part of me that knew that. It's still on cop a surprise. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Baby, going down, 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 down. Baby, going down, 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 down. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we 
keep moving like the river goes Baby, yeah. going down, 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 down Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I thought It's time I'm letting you go This time I know it for sure I just thought I should let you know Get yeah. down now, no worries no more, no I got so high on a low That's when I love you the most Now I thought I should let you know Now, my let's eat sign that is above the oven is super dirty and dusty and has cobwebs on it. So I'm gonna take that hot water bleach and Tide powder concoction and wipe all of that down, dry it off and get it hung back up. And then I'm also gonna wipe off my wreath that is hung above my oven and put that back up. Okay, now that I've made a huge mess in the kitchen, I am just gonna get everything put back where it belongs and get this kitchen cleaned up. All right, this is now day two. This was on Thursday, so we are gonna get my bed made, and that was a feather that I just grabbed and threw on the floor. It wasn't like dirt or something, I promise, but <laughs> we have a down comforter and down pillow, so every once in a while there's a loose feather, but I'm just gonna get my bed made first. When you took my hands and let's see now. Don't wanna be shy. Now I'm just going to get some laundry out of the dryer and take that into my bedroom, put it on my bed so we can get that folded and I'm also going to get a load of laundry started. about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now don't wanna be shy
The boys took their clothes and put them away and I put Berkeley's clothes away as you guys saw but now I am going to get her room picked up, wiped down, and vacuumed. Hey, I wish you could see yourself Just sitting there on my chair I'm staring at you You don't even notice Should have told you straight away Today I'm using my Shark Apex vacuum. This is my upright vacuum. I love this thing. It's heavy duty. It does so many different things. It comes apart in different ways. Um, I, I really do like this vacuum a lot and I've been using it a lot more lately versus my stick vacuum. And um, I have all my vacuums linked in the description box for you guys, but um, this is a great one. Now headed into the dining room. The kids had been playing with some slime that had like confetti glitter in it. So my table was covered <laughs> in confetti glitter and all of my cleaning rags were in the dryer and they were just about dry. So I had to go grab one of those. Um, but I'm gonna just get my dining room table wiped down because we needed to get some homeschool done. So after I'm done wiping this table down, we're gonna get our schoolwork done, which is not in this video, but then I come back and I work on filming some more cleaning. Now a little bit later, those towels are done. So I had just a whole load of towels that you guys saw me put into the dryer a little bit ago. These are cleaning rags and stuff. Um, the towels that I used on the counter the day before when I was cleaning out the oven so they had easy off on them so all these towels went into the wash and they went through the sanitized setting um, so I'm gonna get all of these folded and put away Now we're gonna work on a little rearranging. 
I was planning on cleaning this carpet and I was sitting there thinking about it and I decided I wanted to move this little table here. I just put it there not that long ago, um, but I wanted to just open up the living room a little bit more, which later on you'll see we end up rearranging the couches after I clean them too, um, or after I clean the rug rather. But I decided to put this little cube shelf by the front door and put a little basket and a faux plant on there, which you'll see here in a second. But um, for now, it's in the entryway and it has a little bit of storage and then we can set our keys there. So we're liking it there for now, but you guys know me, we're always rearranging things. It's fun. So I'm also just getting the entryway cleaned up a little bit. I had a whole bunch of packages um, brand stuff and clothes I had ordered for the kids for fall and I just need to get everything moved from that bench and put away and I also got a carpet cleaner that needed to be unboxed so that was sitting up there too but I got this all cleaned up and I think the entryway looks really cute now that it's cleaned and I rearranged some things so I ended up putting my oil diffuser back in the kitchen this is like my go-to spot where it always ends up either on the buffet or right here in the kitchen and I love this tiered tray I got it from Hobby Lobby last year and I really like it so now in the kitchen, while I was rearranging, I decided to play around with some stuff on the counter. Ultimately, I decided to just go super simple and not have a tray or anything um, and just have my utensils out. So I went ahead and put everything else away up off the counter. I just wanted like a really clean look. And so that's what I went with. Now moving on to the living room, I decided that I was over the orange pillowcases. I really liked them last fall, uh, but we didn't have a rug with orange tones in it last fall. And um, I don't know, the last couple weeks since I decorated for fall, it's just been like, I feel like it's too much orange. So ditch the orange pillowcases and I'm just gonna have my um, like beige ones on there and those are gonna be great, um, a little bit more neutral. But I am going to vacuum out the couches because on the next day, I'm gonna be shampooing and washing all of these couches. So I went ahead and got them vacuumed out first since I was gonna be moving them and um, shampooing the carpet on this day I went ahead and vacuumed all the couches as you can see under the cushions really needed to be vacuumed here I'm just showing you how dirty the cushions are like this one looks really clean and then this bottom one is like a high traffic one and it was like brown uh, because our dog likes to get up on the chair so Clearly the couches need to be shampooed also, um, but we are gonna get to that later on in this video, but for now we are gonna vacuum couches and then we're gonna get ready to clean this rug. Do. 
I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine. Ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile and the I was broken How could they say you made me come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken How could they say you made me come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them To be cool, even wear that shirt you wanted to. My friends think I'm lame. Since I met you, I am not the same. It was not meant to be a fairy tale with a happy end. Girl, you take care now. I hope we can be friends. So I vacuumed all the crevices and corners and baseboards over here in this corner because um, it's kind of all blocked off by our blanket basket and the couch or the, the chair rather that was there. And this lamp was super dusty. So I vacuumed all of that off and then I went ahead and got um, another mix up of that hot water bleach and Tide. And I'm just gonna wipe down the baseboards back here and the walls and the floors and just get it all really clean because this is a spot that's usually covered up by furniture and stuff and it doesn't get cleaned very often. So I wanted to give it a good scrubbing. So now I'm gonna unbox my carpet cleaner. I purchased this on Amazon. It is the Hoover Power Scrub Deluxe. I wanted to get one that had an attachment for cleaning upholstery um, so that way I could spot clean couches and stuff like that. Um, but then also could clean like the carpet and the rugs. So you guys know we have a black lab named Cash. He's five years old and um, he loves to go down to the creek and swim and dogs just get dirty. And then they come and they lay on the furniture and the rugs and they get dirty. So he has his favorite spot that he lays on this rug. And this rug is not that old. It, we just got it a few months ago and it was so dirty. Right where I'm cleaning right here, you'll see um, here in a couple more like lines over um, kind of where my feet are right now in this clip is where he lays and it was so dingy and dirty looking so super glad that I got this carpet cleaner it does work really well um, so I will link it for you guys really great price and um, works great for the price too so anyways I'm gonna use this carpet cleaner and we're gonna clean this whole rug and get it back to brand new I want you hit you up I'm on the other side I miss you miss you Take you off, I came, me way to strong, cannot keep it low key. Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof, I don't your taste. It's really a bad reception out there, where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you. Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no sipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want you. How could I want you? Once I was done doing the clean setting, there's a rinse setting on here too. And the um, instruction manual said they recommend doing the rinse setting after you shampoo the carpets. So I am going to run the rinse setting over this. And then I'm going to show you guys how nasty the water was after I was done cleaning this rug. I need you, but you're off my radar now. I'm 
like an outcast from pillar to post There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up, but I'm stuck on hold It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Alright, this is how I ended up putting the couches back. This is a little while later. I didn't film putting the couches back because my father-in-law came over for dinner. So I had to hurry and put those back. Um, but I'm just putting everything back where it goes. Pillows, I see those um, kind of beige uh, tan pillow covers. Those were what was underneath those orange covers and I think they look so much better. So now I'm just gonna play around with the lamps and some decor in the living room until I get it how I like it. into my life such a magic feeling we tore down my wall now here's a little overview of the living room and we will come back to the living room on the next day when i clean these couches but i feel like it looks so cozy and warm and inviting and i absolutely love this setup so now we're going to move on to the boys room they've been keeping their room so clean i'm so proud of them it's been awesome, um, but I am just going to get their beds made a little bit better. Brody's was made, but you know, mom standards. I'm just gonna get their beds made nicely, um, and then I am going to vacuum their carpets, and then I'm gonna shampoo their carpet too. And stay tuned later at the very end of this video I'm gonna be sanding down those spots um, that I covered um, that I filled those holes with the putty I'm gonna be sanding those down and painting and touching up that too so anyways vacuuming and shampoo carpet time strangers again, again, again. like strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never Started. It's time to get my head up again. You said that you had to. I'll try to forget you. Just didn't think we'd end up this way like strangers again. I 
wonder How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? me wonder Yeah, it makes me wonder It really makes me wonder Ooh, I wonder How come the trees get All right, I am done shampooing the boys' carpets and a look at that water. That's two years of traction on the carpet in the boys room and they don't even wear shoes in there isn't that wild how dirty carpets get i'm really glad that the only rooms in our house that have carpet are the kids rooms and not the whole house i do like having rugs but a lot of carpet it just oh it's crazy how dirty it gets at least with hard floors you can vacuum and mop and you know it's clean but carpet is a different story so anyways now we are moving on to day three this is Friday now and I'm showing you guys the couch. So this chair, this is Cash's favorite spot to lay in front of this chair and as you can see the normal color of this couch and the dingy brown color that has come about because our dog likes to lay in front of this chair but it's not just the chair that has like dingy spots like that it's all of them all of our furniture needs to be cleaned from time to time so now that i have this carpet cleaner that has these attachments i'm going to be able to keep up with cleaning my couches so i'm just giving you guys an overview of the attachments that came with this cleaner and i'm gonna just get to work so i am cleaning this chair by hand with this carpet cleaner with the um attachment i ended up putting a different one on there that had the scrub brush on it i just felt like it would do a better job since it uh, you know spins instead of just like the regular one and it did do a really good job but it takes quite a long time it's a big process and so i'm going to slow down the footage here to show you guys just how slow it goes um, to clean just one spot on the couch so i have this big chair and then a love seat and then the big couch and there's a whole lot of cushions that needed to be cleaned and the base of all the couches and everything so i ended up deciding to only hand clean this chair and then the rest of the cushion covers they all they, they all zip off so i decided after doing this one i was like this is going to literally take me days to clean all of this so I ended up zippering off all of the covers and threw them in the wash, which you'll see here in a little bit. But for now, we are just gonna work on cleaning this chair. your favorite music gone all the way baritone oh, yeah. shut the lights go in front of red oh, we can spend all day in bed i get the wine and the corkscrew you don't have to do one single thing you don't know how much i want Looking at you makes my whole world spin You don't have to wake up yet We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix marathon KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food your favorite music gone all the way baritone shut the lights go in for red we can spend all day in bed Okay. 
We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone Shut the lights, go in front All right, I am done with that chair. So now, like I said a little bit ago, I decided to just zipper off all of the cushion covers, which is a lot. You guys will see how many there are here in just a minute, but I'm taking those all off and we're gonna put them all into the washer. Everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties, but I would never, ever, ever would have believed them, no reason. Sometimes the truth is hard to see. But never, never, ever, ever seem to be over, I saw her. So I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me, uh oh, uh oh Lucky, lucky, lucky me, I won, got it done Lucky, lucky, lucky me, uh oh Lucky, lucky, lucky I won't let the door hit when I you were nice but now I am telling you I'm going to smile I slowed this clip down again you'll notice throughout this video I do some like real time um, footage because <laughs> when it's sped up you're like dang you got a lot done so quickly but like look <laughs> look how long it took me to take off one cushion cover you guys they're on there tight so um, I worked out right before I filmed cleaning the couches and then I got a full-on workout again taking off all the cushion covers so anyways I'm gonna take all of those into the laundry room throw them in the washer and just add some laundry soap I just put some gain laundry soap in there and I put my washer on the delicate setting on heavy I just wasn't sure how it was gonna work and I did not want my cushion covers to get ruined obviously so I put them on delicate so it wasn't like a super crazy um, high-speed wash and they came out great so um, in case you have the same couch as me it worked out well but now I am going to use my carpet cleaner and clean the ottoman All right, the ottoman is done and now we are moving on to the love seat and I'm not cleaning every square inch of this love seat, just the parts that need to be cleaned. Um, and then on the big couch, because the back is exposed. Also, I don't know why my camera was going in and out of focus here. I'm so sorry about that. But um, the back of the big couch is exposed and you know gets a little bit of traffic and people touch it and the kids are all over it. So the back of that couch I am gonna clean, but um, 
that little one I just did what needed to be done and this carpet cleaner that did do really really well on my couches they looked brand new again when I was done so in case you were in the market for a carpet cleaner or an upholstery cleaner anything like that it did work really well I will say though that um, the spray angle on the attachment is really wide. So it sprayed like all over the floor and all over the couches, but I just had a towel handy and made sure to clean all of that up once I was done. back when the rain fall we just want the sun down give up when it's too hot all right now i am just rinsing out my um carpet cleaner where all of the dirty water goes and showing you that from cleaning the couches isn't that crazy so much dirt and grime from our couches and we haven't even had them for a year but it's the first time they've been cleaned so now that i have this machine i'll be able to clean them more often but anyways now this is a little bit later in the day different outfit but earlier i had just got done working out and then i got ready for the day went to a nail appointment and then now i am home from that so I am taking down the curtains in the living room. I'm also going to take down the curtains in my bedroom and we're going to get all those washed. So we have animals that go in and out the sliding glass doors and then the floor gets dusty. So the bottom of all the curtains just are really dirty and need to be cleaned. And then also just like having linens hanging um, in your house, they, you know, they collect dust and smell like when you cook. Um, the smells and the all of that just kind of like linger in fabrics in your home so every once in a while it's good to take down your curtains and um, depending on you know what fabric and material and all that make sure they get cleaned the right way so I am putting mine in the washer with just laundry soap and we're gonna get those washed and not dried I learned my lesson do not dry your curtains you just hang them back up wet and then they will dry um, hanging up but as you can see lots of cat hair dog hair on the bottom of this curtain and dirt because Jasper our cat likes to lay underneath these curtains in our bedroom so putting those in and oh I'm adding a little bit of bleach too they're not cotton um, but just for like sanitary sanitization purposes I'm adding a little bit of bleach and some Tide pods to wash those curtains All right, now we are moving it back into my bedroom and I have a load of laundry here that I'm gonna get folded, but we got a new duvet cover. I'm talking about this a little bit in a vlog that's coming up in a couple days, but it's from um, Amazon. Came with two pillow covers too. I've been really into having options for duvet covers now that we have a down comforter so we can switch it out whenever we want to, but been loving the more like moody earth tones, like dark, more like, I don't know moody vibes in our house and so Donnie and I were debating between like a rust color duvet cover or this green it's such a pretty green I don't feel like it shows on camera like actually how pretty it is but love it our room feels so cozy and um, it's really nice so I will link that for you guys too they have tons of different colors but I'm gonna get all these clothes folded the boys are gonna come get theirs so they can go put them away this was mostly their clothes um, I had washed yesterday when I was um, cleaning their room. They had a bunch of dirty clothes that needed to be thrown in the wash. So they're going to come get their clothes and put them away. I'm going to go put Berkeley's clothes away, get all this laundry put away. And then we're going to head out to the living room and I'm going to wrestle all of the cushion covers back onto the cushions. Someone like you, this time it's all different. You got every little string on me. So fly, you got
So like I said earlier, I had gone to town and went to a nail appointment and I was gone for a few hours. So we had all of the cushion covers just laying out like this to dry while I was gone. Um, and they were still a little bit damp when I went to put them back on, but I think because they were a little bit damp, they were easier to put back on than if they would have been completely dry just because they're a little stretchier when they're wet. Um, so. This is super sped up, but these were not easy to put back on. So once again, I got another workout. It's totally fine. <laughs> but at least now my couch is clean and it smells really good. So that's great. Um, here in a minute, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna slow down one of the clips to real time so you can see, <laughs> so you can see me struggle putting these covers back on. So I ended up ditching my sweater because I was so hot wrestling <laughs> these covers back on. I'm laughing at myself editing this video and watching this. It's just funny. Um, but I got them all back on and got the pillows all back in place and got the living room back in order. All right, now the curtains are all done in the washer, so I'm gonna get those hung back up here in the living room and also in my bedroom. Right, now this is day four so this is actually today while I'm doing this voiceover it is Saturday so Saturday morning bright and early I'm in my sweatpants and my sweatshirt no makeup bright and early in the morning and I'm just gonna work on this wall in the boys room they used to have a desk that was like built onto the wall we took it down filled the holes with spackle and then I just have not got around to finishing that um, so I'm just taking a little sanding block I'm gonna sand that down 
and then I'm using some cleaner to just clean off this whole wall because fingerprints and the bed is up against the wall. It just was a little dingy, so it needed to be wiped down. So I'm wiping it down and then I'm gonna take my paint and just touch up all of the spots that need to be touched up. It is Repost Gray by Sherwin-Williams. Um, I got it mixed at Home Depot in the Bare Paint and Primer in semi-gloss. They can mix any color for you if you tell them. So that's what this is. Repost gray. The lighting in their room is kind of yellow, so it looks more beige, but it is definitely gray. Um, our whole house is painted with repost gray. So whenever I'm touching up paint like this, I try to like touch up the spot and then use the brush kind of dry um, to blend it all in because paint changes as it's on the wall for a long time, it will change. So I try to use it um, see what I'm doing there, kind of blending it in. So that's what it looks like when I'm done touching it all up. And then I'll give you guys a view of the finished product. All right, you guys, that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. This is probably the longest cleaning video I've ever done, but I really enjoyed making it for you guys. And if you made it to the very end, I'm clapping for you and I wanna give you a big hug. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Please be sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.